Moin. Parked up in Holland's Clough and we're going for the Dragon's Back. Shame we can't bleed in really see out. It's that misty. Eh? Pick some right days to come hiking me, don't I? So it's a bit of a shame that it's so misty. Because um, from the top of Holland's Hill, I've decided to go the other way, so I'm going to go um, Park uh, Parkhouse Hill, which is the little one. That's like the dragon's tail. Crow Mill, which is like the dragon, which is the dragon's back, and then Holland's Hill, which is the higher of the three, which is where the dragon's head would be. And from there, you can look back across the dragon's back and get marvelous. Marvellous scenic views and, and from there you really can tell why it's called the dragon's back But we ain't getting any of them views be today. It's, uh, that's where that's crow mill behind me um, and obviously <laughs> All we can see is fog It's a bit of a shame But nonetheless, it still should be a, a decent ish trek today maybe around a four mile Four or five miler, just knocking it out quite quick. Relatively gentleish one. I know the the actual climb across Crow Mill, on on right top at Ridge can be a bit suspect. But I'll try and show you what I can. Um, like you know, fog and weather permitting. I've got me me hiking pack with me, so I need me waterproofs or whatever equipped so I'll talk to you shortly now we're getting a little bit closer you can actually see a little bit of the hill that's park house there and then that's up to crow mill there wish we could see it properly but there's only so much we can do in there so anyway we finally got off at road heading across this, uh, well, it's listed as a public footpath, but it's uh, it's access path at, at best. Bloody thorns and poo everywhere. Terrible. Man, so not bothered. So here we go. It's like, looks like a little bit of a track here. So follow this across. And uh, Mecca's way. Towards Park House, up there, behind them trees now. So it's not bleeding fog, it's some trees in way now. So we got Park House still in quite good view now. Still not kind of summit, but hopefully this view can give you an idea of why it's called Dragon's Back. Well, this is one part of the Dragon's Back anyway. This like spiny ridge that goes up and then it continues all the way across. Obviously we can only see this little bit from here, but yeah, it looks decent. Looks pretty decent. Nice little bridge to cross over here. Bit slippy, mind. Oh, that's a neat bandy pole, isn't it? Straight it nauseous, that. Right then. On his way. Right, so we're right at the bottom of park house now and I've got to say it looks pretty formidable but we're not obviously we're not going to try and tackle it from this side we're going to walk around this little spike here and from there should be reasonably accessible so let's see what we discover as we go a little bit further around See, there's quite clearly a way up there, but if I'm honest with you, it's not going to be my first choice. And I think coming down here would just be suicide. Let's have a look what's around here. We're about halfway up, and we've got a fabulous view across Chrome there. But we have to turn back on ourselves and take this path up, and then that'll get us in between the ridges. So let's get to the top of this short little bit here. So from here, within the next, say, three minutes, <clears throat> it started raining, the fog came back in, 
um, and the wind's really picked up and I probably should have given up on the ascent at this point I got I got kind of stuck halfway up couldn't get up couldn't get down and I were in a little bit of a panic um, and now I've watched this next bit of footage back you'll see that I'm quite visibly shaken and um, I didn't kind of notice it at the time so I was so I don't know if it were adrenaline or what but yeah, I you know watching it back, it's not very comfortable. Um, thinking about what I put myself through, and that, as you'll see, you can tell I'm just not happy at all. So I'm sat atop one of the more notable summits, even though it's not one of the highest. That's been difficult. Our the way I originally went, where I filmed to, I had to bail. It was so, there got to be a section of just this rock. And it was so slippy. And I couldn't possibly get up here. I was on my hands and knees, covered in, covered in dirt and whatever else from trying to get up it. And I just bailed. I come back down, I come round below here, a long ground behind me, and I come up a grass section that's that way. I were able to shorten my walking poles to make them into climbing spikes and just like powered up that way. Probably not a good day to have done this. I'm going to bail on the, on Crow Mill. I got not very good visibility. I'm just going to get, try and get down here, off here as safely as I can and then get down, I don't want to be reason some people have to come out and rescue me. If I go back down the grass, I'll probably get quite wet, but same again, I can get me, me poles out and dig them in, and I can lower myself down using my arms. And uh, that's been rough, as I say, for the... Once I got here, obviously, but I wanted to try and complete it, but... No, it were, especially that bit down there, it were a bit silly, really, even trying, but... Well, that's what I came to do, so here we are. So whilst conditions cleared up a little bit while I was at the summit, they soon made a turn for worse again. Um, and I was sat up there probably 20 minutes before I thought, well, I've got to try and get down at some point, so... Um, the wind had really picked up and that was, that was the main concern at this point everything were already wet it was so slippy and um, I had a, a really hard time my shoulders and my arms were burning because I was putting that much weight on my upper body like kind of laying down at some points to lower myself down with my hiking poles and um, it, was just, it was just a bad decision all round so I'm on the eastern side of Park House now and if I'm, if I'm honest with you that has been horrendous to come down and battling this ridiculous wind that like un rock underfoot is just so slippy there's nothing to dig the poles into I've had I've had such a bad time oh dear me if I'd a, these are not the conditions to be climbing this hill in and if I'd a, if I'd have known what it was like underfoot I'd have not come today but as I say once you get up there and if you start as a bit of moron as well yeah it's not been brilliant I'm freezing now I'm gonna get my fleece back on and I'm gonna get my stuff on my arm I'm gonna get back down and it's grass now just got that little bit there sorry that bit there to get on and then I'll get me back onto the path and then it's a nice general ball back from there so I've only got this little bit and as I said this is all grass so we good from here so thanks for watching dudes, overriding message of this video is always stay safe, make a, try and make good decisions, not like I have today, shouldn't, probably shouldn't have done this, definitely not going for Chrome today, we'll just, we'll set up a park house and that's it, so thanks for watching dudes, take care, see y'all.